time. Now, we're living in extraordinary times. All of us, and they're difficult, yeah, but hear me out. This is an era that's sure to usher in an unprecedented level of opportunity for entrepreneurs to solve problems, create value, and lead our economy back to health. Really, we have a commitment to build, rebuild where required, and demonstrate the same courage as our ancestors who used the power of entrepreneurship to create better enterprises, families, and communities. Tonight, we want to celebrate our community from our homes scattered across the landscape to recognize those that have gone above and beyond in their commitment to living the values that underpin the angler culture. Now, we wish we were together, you know, in person, able to shake hands, give hugs, and be in that special place of community that really comes from a more intimate setting. However, the spirit of what we feel, our pride in each of you, and the depth and breadth of our hope for the future cannot be extinguished. So... I say this every year, but tonight is about celebrating, really. So in your living room, your spare bedroom, or your sister's bathroom, feel free to cheer, raise the roof, roof, smile, shed tears of joy, and lean into our shared experience tonight. Welcome to the Anglers. To kick off this evening, Logan Peters, a member of the Angler Alumni Association executive team, is going to give everyone an update on what they've been up to. Welcome, Logan. Thank you, Dwayne. Uh it's pretty hard to follow that up, but uh, I'll do my best. And so, yep, uh, Logan Peters and serving on um, the Angler Alumni Executive Council uh, again for the second year. And so first off, I'd just like to welcome all the seniors here tonight um, into the Alumni Association. Uh, you guys are officially alumni and I can't wait to get engaged with each and every one of you. The alumni group is fairly new uh, within the last three years. Uh, 2017 is when we actually really kicked it off. And so we have just over 200 students um, with this new class. We'll be right at about 250 alumni. And boy, it's, it's been awesome to see the growth in the program. I'll tell you a little bit, just a couple minutes uh, background here um, of, of uh, our purpose, our mission, and kind of what we've done. And so the, the sole purpose of the Angler Alumni Association is to empower enterprise builders. We empower enterprise builders. Uh, our mission to further entrepreneurial education for members while supporting undergraduate angler entrepreneurs. And so it, it plays off uh, supporting the undergrad program, but also being there for each alumni member uh, across the whole nation. Our goals uh, for our recent uh, elected exec team for this year, 2021, will be to pilot four different regional cohorts. Uh, these are gonna be small little groups that I encourage each and every one of you to be a part of. More information about that are to be distributed. Uh, we had one really good cohort led by alumni Jordan Bader last year, and we really wanna to try to build off of that. Uh, number two, develop a tiered alumni involvement system uh, to, to gauge um, different uh, levels of involvement from, from each different kind of alumni. And so whether you plan to stay engaged or not, I hope you circle back up with us. There's gonna be opportunities for everybody. Uh, number three, to build a program of activities to actually be able to distribute, tell everyone what we are and who we do besides just our bylaws. And then create a CRM, CRM system, uh, basically uh, compiling all of our information of each alumni um, into one system that we can easily access electronically and then uh, craft alumni focused marketing effort. And so we have some really big goals this year. We encourage uh, existing alumni and you uh, your brand new alumni to stay connected, to stay engaged, uh, and find community. Uh, the, the Angler Alumni Association really was started because of alumni talking after undergraduate education and talking about how we can stay connected, how we can continue our education, and how we can support each other as we continue to advance each and every one of our enterprises. And so um, once again, welcome and, and the current alumni that are on here, thank you for joining. Um, we will have one business meeting every year uh, right before this senior celebration. Uh, we, we actually took part of that, the originally scheduled night just virtually. And so next year we will plan to do an alumni business meeting again. And then our exec team is meeting every month. And so if anyone has any questions or interest in, in trying to get more involved, certainly reach out to me, Tony Rasmussen, Emily Franzen, M, uh, Alex uh, Ambrose, and Lucas Fricky, serving as the 2020 and 2021 uh, exec team. And so with that, I'll pass it on to Tony. 
one last shout out. I want to uh, thank Kate and Coleman for being on tonight. Uh, we've all been watching your videos since the quarantine. And let me tell you, there's been a lot of alumni that have seen that and it's put a smile on your face. So thank you for joining. Well, thank you, Logan. Um, with that, I'll go ahead and recognize the new business launches. So these are businesses who may have had a big win, such as a website, physical space, or a pivot. Those businesses are Jay Copwood with Sand Hills Auction, Dylan Tegmeyer with Dirt Poor Book and Tegmeyer Investments, Amber Clausen with Jordan Producers, Clark Rathman, Rathman Agronomics, Matt and Joe Bruger, Upstreams Distillery, JC Panel with Panel Enterprises, Hannah Borg, Spring Bank Poultry LLC, and Ben Halverson with Riverview Cattle. As we look at these businesses, I want you to think about, is that gonna be you next year? Um, congratulations again to those businesses and thank you for representing the Engler community so well. At this point, I'll turn it over to Jared Kenobi who presents more of the alumni awards. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. And the awards that we would like to recognize are is the 2020 Angler Business of the Year Award and the Angler Alumni Champion of the Year Award. To start with, the Angler Business of the Year Award is designed to show what successful business has been uh, established out of the program. Uh, that is their full-time position and it has matured in the industry and shows sustainability over time. They have a reliable revenue source, place of operation, and an established customer base. And that is what we gauge this award off of. This year's recipient started one summer with a van and a mission to travel the Midwest and see if his invention would sell to farmers. Tractormat is the first company of their kind to use reverse 3D engineering to specifically fit a rubber mat into over 30 pieces of farm equipment. Tractors, combines, forage harvesters, cotton pickers, sprayers, and side-by-sides. Today, Tractormat has 600 dealers across 30 states, Canada, and Australia. Thomas has hired salespeople and now a general manager to build his business. He has pursued Tractormat using grit, hard work, partnership, and passion. Currently residing in Seward, Nebraska, he graduated to pursue his business full-time and had advanced to build a niche real estate portfolio that encompasses vertically integrated development, construction, and operations. This year, we are proud to announce Thomas Caton's Tractormat as the 2020 Angler Alumni Business of the Year. Everyone give a shout out to Thomas and send him a text or a phone call to give him a huge congratulations for winning this year's award. Uh, it is ready to go, but we did present a platinum Case IH mini tractor to him that will be sent to him here shortly. And this year's, or the Alumni Angler Champion of the Year shows the utmost respect for the program, stays passionate for the mission, vision, and culture of the program. They may or may not have started a business, but they work diligently in their area of expertise. They really focus to give back to the program with their time, energy, mission, vision, and, and or monetarily. This year's recipient has been an influential member of Angler since day one. He was a founding member behind the original Angle, Angler bus tour, now the Angler Trek, to cactus feeders in the spring of 2013, and now has helped not once, but twice, develop the Trek to the Pacific Northwest. He has served on the undergrad and alumni executive board and currently will continue to drive the, the program forward through his involvement, even being multiple states away. His vision for Angler consisted of an in the initial spring celebration hosted at the Champions Club. That was developed in into an entire day of events that we get to experience virtually today. This man sees adversity and takes it head on. He lives by the pillars of partner, grit, and passion. Currently living in Boise, Idaho, Logan works full time and operates multiple businesses. I'm thrilled to call this person my friend and please help me congratulate Logan Peters, the 2020 Angler Alumni Champion of the Year. And Dean Wayne, take it back. One more round of applause for our champion. Congratulations, Logan. Woo -woo. I feel like raise the roof is definitely like the thing. So feel free to raise the roof. Everyone can see you raising that roof, roof. 
Logan will definitely tell you though, entrepreneurship is not magic, nor is it created with ready-made recipes. Commit to the climb has been the rally cry of Angler for the past couple of years, and it really encompasses the relentless effort, twists and turns, setbacks and restarts that are involved with an entrepreneur's climb. Now, our program is designed to allow students a variety of paths as they seek the summit. Two of the options available are intense cohort-based experiences called Build Camp and Entrepreneur Camp, each designed to facilitate entrepreneurial growth. Brennan Costello would like to recognize the individuals who are part of our Build Camp cohort. Welcome, Brennan. Thanks. Um, Build Camp is one of the uh, things I look more look forward to most in, in what I get to do. In Build Camp, if you aren't familiar, these are students who are extremely committed to wanting to build something. It's going from just an idea to figuring out what the market's like and, and building a, a real uh, executable business plan by talking to a lot of uh, customers, by building a prototype. It's a lot of work to really figure out, is this a business that you want to build? So I want to highlight the students that participated in Build Camp um, this last year. Uh, Ralston Ripp, Daniel Elsner, Sarah Eppersbacher, Joshua Nukamwandu, and Anna Kobza. Please give a round of applause for our Build Campers. If you're interested in Build Camp and, and really pursuing an idea, please get in contact me for the fall as well. And I want to give it over to Dave, who will talk about Entrepreneur Camp. Hey, Entrepreneur Camp is designed for uh, students who like to start or have started uh, their businesses as a choice of their career goals. Through one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions and networking, we find mentors, customers, suppliers, we develop marketing strategies, and source contracts. We discuss pricing and business structures and we pitch ideas. I'm very, very proud of the 11 students, eight men, Paul, and three women who have launched businesses or are about to launch businesses over this past school year. I'd like to recognize Andy King for King Consulting Services. It's a crop scouting service focused on technology. Shay Kaster, Creative Cattle Conversations. It's a podcast for ranchers. Luke Lawman developed AeroServe, which is an aerial drones for insurance companies and realtors. Carlos Minos developed Buffalo Creek Pecans, uh, which, which is pecans direct to consumers. Chase Nordhaus is working currently with a patent attorney on a calf water for cattle producers. Adam Oldmeyer is working with cattle, Oldmeyer Cattle Company. It's an embryo transfer business for seed stock producers. Jason Rainforth has Rainforth Animal Health. It's vet supplies both in Wisner and Burwell. Hallie Ramsey, our very own 1624 Creations is paper products that are handwritten, intentional, and nature inspired to build community. Caitlin Sunday is Coach Caitlin, uh, YouTube videos and coaching young women in entrepreneurship. And then Emmett Store is Platform Cattle. Develop that with social media marketing for seed stock producers. And he's working with our very own combine group here at on campus. And then Eli Wolf is working on the development of a dairy processing facility in Kearney. Michelle and I have an engraved brick to designate the building of uh, a business uh, that you have done and that's ready for you. Uh, we haven't talked about how we're going to get it to you yet, but we're working on that for you. And, and we're really proud of what you've done in Entrepreneurs Camp this, this year, and we're so glad that you're with us. Uh, back to Dwayne. Let's give one more round of applause or raise the roof, roof to our cohorts. All right, it's time. Now we're going to recognize our Pillar Award winners for this year. Courage, Passion, Grit, Aspire, Build, and Partner are the six pillars of Angler culture. Tonight, we recognize a few individuals who we feel embody the characteristics of some of these pillars. Now, every year, not every pillar is gonna have an award winner. More importantly, we celebrate an extraordinary and remarkable community of people in our alums, students, staff, and partners. Our first pillar award tonight recognizes a commitment to courage. 
Courage is the daily decision to confront the status quo with the belief that there is a better way. Courage comes to us in many ways, but for entrepreneurs, its essence is in making the choice to veer away from the beaten path and do battle with the status quo. Rob Siltan and Kent captured the spirit when he wrote, here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs and the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward. After starting a company during freshman year, exploring international opportunities with the business team, tonight's honoree has chosen to dive back into the family business. You might remember this scene from Field of Dreams and be reminded that entrepreneurship can also lead us home. I have just created something totally illogical. That's what I like about it. Am I completely nuts? Hmm? Not completely. It's a good baseball field, Ray. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? This year's Courage Award goes to Eli Wolf. Raise the roof, roof, raise it, raise it. Congratulations, Eli. Those look like some really nice boxing gloves there. Our next Pillar Award celebrates passion. It is our belief that passion is not what you find, but rather what you bring to the work at hand. Passion is often viewed as the muse we seek in life to lead us forward, the key to happiness. But the entrepreneur knows passion in a unique way. Tonight's recipient reminds us that passion is not an outcome, but instead a tool, an attitude, and a choice about how to face life. It's easy to confuse motion and progress, but she demonstrates a passion that's about getting things done with intent and effort. She has a passion for the agricultural industry and is willing to take risks to work in the industry and to share this industry with anyone who will listen and then use her influence to build opportunities and access into agriculture for others. As Frank Sonnenberg wrote, the truth is, if you stop focusing on all the reasons why you can't do it, you just may surprise yourself when you see what you can't do. Get it done. Whether it's introducing consumers to the world of agriculture or bringing the history of music to the next generation, this film clip from School of Rock speaks to the power of passion. The first thing you do when you start a band is talk about your influences. That's how you figure out what kind of band you want to be. So who do you like? Blondie. Christina Aguilera. Who? No. Come on. What? You. Shortstop. Puff Daddy. Wrong. Billy. Liza Minnelli? What are you? You guys, this project is called Rock Band. I'm talking about bands that rock. Led Zeppelin. Don't tell me you guys have never gotten the lead out. Jimmy Page, Robert Plant, ring any bells? What about Sabbath? ACDC, Motorhead. Oh, what are they teaching this place? Summer, you're the class whatever, go to the board. Factotum. Factoter, new schedule, 8.15 to 10, rock history. 10 to 11, rock appreciation and theory. And then band practice till the end of the day. What about math? No, not important. The 2020 Passion Award winner is Anna Kobza. The next pillar we're recognizing this evening is one of grit. John Wayne once said that true grit is making a decision and standing by it, doing what must be done. No moral man can have peace of his mind, leaves undone what he knows he should have done. Tonight's recipient of the Grit Award has the tenacity and determination not only to blaze a new path that allows her to combine her talents, 
but also to start, she has demonstrated the most critical element of grit, the ability to start, to experience setback and to go again. She reminds us that honorable endeavors are created through hard work, overcoming self-doubt and embracing all the complexity that makes us human. She embraces the experience of fighting, working and sweating to turn vision into the reality. Let's take a look at this video clip that celebrates sweat equity. Our winner exemplifies tenacity, the power of sweat equity, and commitment to doing what it takes to achieve an honorable goal. Tonight's winner has a lot in common with Maddie Ross, the young woman with the grit equal to Rooster Cogburn in the epic film, True Grit. Is that Marshall Cogburn? That is the man. Who's he with? I do not know. Well, take me across. So, you're the runaway. Marshall told me you'd show up. I'm to present you to the sheriff. That is a story. Let go of my horse. I have business across the river. If you don't turn around and take me across, you may find yourself in court where you don't want to be. I have a good lawyer. That is quite a horse. Our GRIT Award recipient this year is Shay Keister. Congratulations, Shay. Aspire is the next pillar we're rewarding. Aspiring entrepreneurs see solutions and pathways to solutions where others see problems. Seth Gunn reminds us that entrepreneurship is not a job. You don't apply, you don't get a salary, and no one picks you. Bragging about how much money you've raised or what your valuation is is a form of job thinking. Entrepreneurship is a chance to trade a solution to someone who has a problem that needs solving. Solve more problems, solve bigger problems, solve problems more widely, and you're an entrepreneur. In the very beginning of the Angler program, the founding students knew that a dream wasn't enough. They knew that a relentless effort, working diligently when no one was watching, embracing learning at the speed of commerce, and doing the challenging work of analysis followed by execution was the key. Enjoy this clip from Pursuit of Happiness, the story of a man whose capacity to aspire, raised the bar, did the little things leading to success, and who took a risk when the moment was right. Whoever brought in the most money after six months was usually hired. Yes, hello, Chris Gardner calling from Mr. Walter Hoff. We were all working our way up call sheets to sign clients. From the bottom to the top. Yes, sir. From the doorman to the CEO. Okay. They'd stay till seven, but I had Christopher. I had to do in six hours what they'd do in nine. Good afternoon. My name is Chris Gardner. I'm calling from Dean Witter. In order not to waste any time, I wasn't hanging up the phone in between calls. Okay, thank you very much. I realized that by not hanging up the phone, I gained another eight minutes a day. Why, good morning to you. My name is Chris Gardner. I'm calling from Dean Witter. I also wasn't drinking water, so I didn't waste any time in the bathroom. Uh, yes, I'd love to have the opportunity. 
Okay. No problem at all, sir. Thank you very much. But even doing all this, after two months, I still didn't have time to work my way up a sheet. Yes, hello. My name is Chris Gardner. I'm calling from Mr. Walter Ribbon. Concerning? Yes, ma'am. I'm calling from Dean Witter. Just a moment. Hello? Mr. Ribbon. Well, uh, hello, sir. My name is Chris Gardner. I'm calling from Dean Witter. Yeah, Chris. Uh, yes, Mr. Ribbon. I would love to have the opportunity to sit with you to discuss some of our products, and I I'm certain that I could be of some assistance to you. Can you be here in 20 minutes? The 2020 Aspire Award winner is Eric Klitz. The final Pillar Award for the evening is our Partner Award. We're a community of entrepreneurs and we value partnership as one of the highest forms of human relationship. We've been inspired by John Gordon's account of the life of a great teammate in his book, The Hard Hat. Gordon's list, Gordon lists 21 characteristics of a great teammate and partner. Tonight's recipient lives these values, but there are five in particular that stand out. One, they pursue excellence. Two, hold themselves and the team accountable. Three, go deeper than simple communication. Four, love their team. And five, practice selfless, selfless compassion. Whether it's helping the team address the elephant in the room or creating moments, experiences, and products designed to transform or listening with the intensity so rarely found in today's talk over one another culture, tonight's recipient has lived the power of partnerships. They're the quiet leader who sets the stage for others to shine, who's absolutely invested in the team and lives the values of a great partner. Enjoy this scene from Hidden Figures as Dorothy Vaughn holds a team of talented women together to bring NASA into the computer age. Her quiet determination and integrity are exemplified by our honoree. Me? Temporarily, yes. We need the IBM for Glenn's launch. The lead engineer says you're good with the cards, programming, and such. What about the girls here? Well, human computers can't calculate an orbital flat in the time we have. They'll stay put for now. What about after now? A after Glenn's launch, NASA's dissolving the computing groups. I'm not accepting reassignment unless I bring my ladies with me. Excuse me? We're gonna need a lot of manpower to program that piece. I can't do it alone. My gals are ready. They can do the work. Ladies, we've been reassigned. Leave your calculators. You won't need them where we're going. Congratulate this year's Partner Award recipient, Hallie Ramsey. In addition to the Core Pillar Awards, we also have an award known as the Fire in the Belly Award, named after our founder, Paul Engler. 
The Fire in the Belly Award is core to our belief that entrepreneurs have a fire or deep passion inside them. It comes from a desire to fulfill their purpose, the knowledge that failure is an opportunity to learn, giving up is not an option, and they're willing to take the necessary risks to achieve their goals. The Fire in the Belly Award touches on all six pillars of passion, grit, partner, aspire, courage, and build. The Angler Program was designed to nurture the owner's mindset, to guide people towards the pride of ownership and the practice of stewardship that ultimately defines our impact. This year's recipients have been made have been models for the leave it better than you found it philosophy of life. Ralph Waddle Emerson might well have been thinking of our recipients of the Fire in the Belly Award when he penned the following definition of success. To laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or redeemed social condition. To know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. As they graduate to the next steps of life, they leave behind a community more engaged, better connected, more capable of sharing the experience of the climb and better organized to assure that the stories of our tribe will never be forgotten. Your 2020 Fire in the Belly Award winners are Emily Frenzen and Cheyenne Gerlock. All right, the last award for the evening has been dubbed the Angler Swashbuckler Award because we like to think of ourselves as the Merry Bandy Pirates, right? <sighs> you got to work on that pirate, pirate accent. Now, Tom's going to explain a little bit about this award and present it, and of course, share some concluding thoughts. Let's hand it over to Tom. Thanks, Dwayne. We have been striving to create a culture and community that have, will have a lasting impact on Nebraska's future. We have known from day one that small incremental changes would not be the path to our vision. Instead, we have intentionally chosen to build from the perspective of the swashbuckler. We've also known that growing our program would be a shared adventure and that we would need partners in arms. Those with a bit of swashbuckler thinking who would embrace the entrepreneurial spirit and help guide us to greater heights. So what is a swashbuckler? He or she is a protagonist who is heroic, idealistic, and willing to embrace the adventure and risk associated with the great undertaking. Tonight, we want to honor two partners, two swashbucklers who have played critical roles in our growth and success. Our first recipient is someone that most of you encountered on nearly a weekly, if not daily basis in Miller Hall. He worked selflessly to provide a working environment for the angler community that enhanced our creativity and innovation. He brought into our culture and our philosophy a spirit of kindness and encouragement. He was always offering kind words and a warm handshake to students and to the staff. He became part of our team and ultimately made the decision to take the leap with his own entrepreneurial and creative drive to give full attention to his own company. He has demonstrated the power of partnership and support for our mission. And it is very appropriate that we honor Thurston Baker with the Swashbuckler Award for 2020. Congratulations, Thurston. Our second award goes to Cheryl and Larry Snyder, wonderful examples of the American dream. They built an entrepreneurial company, Snyder Industries, and following their success, they have made it a point to continue to give back to the community. They are the model for building through partnership, blending their different styles and skills to magnify their outcomes. They bent the laws of mathematics because in their case, one plus one is truly three, if not four. They have invested in our program and supported generally the concepts of entrepreneurship and innovation, both at UNL and Wesleyan. Even more important, one cannot help but be strengthened and inspired by their example. Every conversation I have had with Cheryl has reminded me about the power of purpose and the vision to serve others. It is our deep pleasure and honor to recognize Larry and Cheryl Schneider with this honor tonight. Congratulations. 
We have been building this community to be difference makers, explorers, and leaders. As William Faulkner once wrote, you cannot swim for new horizons until you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. We aren't slick and shiny. Instead, we are the get your hands dirty, embrace the hard work, learn from the mistakes, ride hell bent for leather, live by the code of honor, integrity, and humility, entrepreneurs. Let us conclude with this thought from Seth Godin. And now is the best time. If you're doing something generous, if you're building something worthwhile, if you're making an important ruckus, do it today. You don't need more time. You simply need to decide. The world needs you to be the next great generation. You have what it takes. Accept the responsibility that fate has placed upon your shoulders and know that there is strength in relationship and community. Set your jaws, lean into the wheel, unleash your collective will and determination on the problems at hand and we will overcome and we will walk through this challenge to times that are better. Before we conclude tonight, I wanna to thank so many people. Michelle, who works so diligently to make this kind of event happen, to pull this off virtually, uh, just amazing. And Michelle, thank you. To Brennan and Dave, who fight for you every day. They are great coaches. Uh, they will be behind you the whole way. To Miranda Horning, who worked really hard with so many other student uh, workers, our exec team, the culture team led by uh, Haley Sofal, so many people who work so hard to honor you tonight. Know that we wish that we were together. I wish that we were on our way to the Irish bar so I could buy you a beer. Uh, that's what we wish for. So this will have to do until we have that time together. But know this much, God is with you. Thank you to the parents, the friends who showed up to celebrate these extraordinary young people. You have raised an extraordinary generation of people, and I hope you feel a deep set of pride in these people that you uh, saw tonight and all of our seniors and our students. We hope for a summer that begins to ease the social distancing that soon we will be all together that we might celebrate in the way that we're used to. Know that we are with you. We will be here every step of the way. God bless you. Thank you so much for being here tonight. And Dwayne Taylor, thanks so much for bringing so much energy and love to what we do. Thanks everybody. Paul, thank you. Good night.